We're trying out the X Files, the game. We're trying it for an hour. You know how we do this. Hold on, let me turn some sound on. It'd probably be good to have audio. Why are we playing this? Why are we trying it out for an hour? Well, I mean, a couple reasons. One is that X Files is kind of a horror ish kind of thing, it has horror elements, and this is going to be the month of horror. The other reason is that this game was directed by Greg Roach, director of Quantum Gate and The Vortex, Quantum Gate 2. You remember those? He got to make an X-Files game. So, I mean, we gotta see how it turned out. So, this game came out, I think, in 98. Uh, Quantum Gate 2, I believe, was 94. So this is four years after Quantum Gate 2. Uh, things escalated quickly. <laughs> and, okay, so this is an FMV game featuring all of your favorite characters from the show. Though, we don't actually play as Mulder and Scully. Apparently we play as uh, an original character, Do Not Steal. And uh, this game came out on both PC and PlayStation 1. We're trying out the PS1 version. Uh, reason for that is because the Windows version is probably either Windows 95 or 98, which, you know, that's kind of a problem area for playing a, a PC game these days. Can't play it in DOSBox, and modern Windows is not really going to want to play a Windows 95 game. So there's probably a way to get it working, but for tonight anyway, we are playing the PlayStation version. As you can tell by this loading screen, very PlayStation. All right, controller is working. Um, you know, let's just get, so we'll start the hour from now and just see how we go. We're gonna start a new game. Why, Agent Wilmore? Why, Agent Cook? You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from D.C. I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. All right, so it's sort of a point-and-click kind of thing. We can move our cursor around. We can also, I guess, have a, like a sort of a mood bar thing happening here on how we want to respond. Let's be paranoid about it. Everyone's out to get us. Did he say anything to you? No. Did he ask about me? Calm down, my friend. You're looking a little guilty. But but did he ask about me? He did, didn't he? That's why you're not you're not he's asking about me. All right. Let me look around. Also star starring Jordan Lee Williams. See, it's it's just like a TV episode. We got credits and everything. Blank forms. Supplies. Probably have to fill out a, a requisition form if I want to open up that supply cabinet. Can't have people just taking supplies willy-nilly. Not here at the federal government. No smoking. Reward? I like how the cursor to go back is like a, a finger pointing at you. Twenty fifth anniversary bomber shoot. I don't I don't know what that is. Hey, remember the big electronics bust from the fall of nineteen ninety five? Michael. Ah, uh, good memories. Back in ninety five. Oh yeah, there we it's, it's like a it's like a forerunner of the YouTube thumbnail. 
Look at this. See, there's a red arrow pointing at this thing. You missed it in the trailer for the next Marvel movie. Did you see this? No, you didn't. All the things you missed. The FBI doesn't miss anything, though. They see everything in those trailers. Hey, partner, how's it going? All right. Uh, we got the lips icon, which obviously means we're going to give him a kiss. Or maybe we're going to talk to him. Who's the guy from D.C.? So who's the big gun from D.C.? I think his name is Skinner. Assistant Director Skinner. Well, I, I know that character. That's a character from the show. I know that name. I know that. Was Shanks upset? Did uh, Shanks seem upset? Well, he smiled at me. That's never a good sign. You know what? Something else isn't a good sign. I got a letter from Barbara. Anything good? Not really. Too bad. I'm sorry. You should try to let that go. Will you file an APB on Mulder and Scully for me? All right. Your mind, eh? So some. This is not. I don't think think this is how this is supposed to go. Inform us when they came into town. This. Good question. Maybe because they were working out of Everett. I don't know. Well, well, no buttons are working. Computer crimes for me. Sure. It's just it's playing audio files, I think. A moment, I'll give him a call. The video froze. Check on James Wong. It's just playing playing audio clips now. How things been going here? Pretty quiet. They moved on the militia group. You missed all that fun. But other than that, you know, I tried actually a few PlayStation emulators for this. Hey. Uh Maybe I think we're just going to have to move on to another one. I, you know, you wouldn't think an FMV game would be that difficult, really, to uh, to emulate. But it seems like it has a little bit of a problem with some of these. Let's see if we can do any better with this. Unfortunately, we can skip these clips. Okay. Second emulator. Let's go. Hopefully this one will be capable of playing FMV clips without freezing. <laughs> so the one we're using now is EPX, EPSXE. Why Agent Wilmore? Why Agent Cook? You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from D.C. I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. Well, now we can at least try an alternate uh, approach here. Let's be funny about it. Let's be a comedian about this. Yeah, he's probably here to make sure we're not stealing paper clips. Our partner is not amused at our jokes. This is not the time for funnies. <laughs> Just completely sandbagged us on that. No, it, you, you don't get it. Maybe he's here to make sure we're not stealing paper clips. Hey, partner, how's it going? Because we're working for the federal government, and, you know, there, we have to fill out the requisition forms if we want to get supplies. What cases are you working on? What cases are you working on? Um, pull tab counterfeiters and uh, the militia group still active in the Northern Cascades. I'm going to assist the DEA on a meth lab ring, but I'm um, handling things okay. Well, I'm, I'm working on a lot of cases myself. Uh, I'm going to ask you this again, and hopefully the game doesn't freeze. Was Shanks upset? Did, uh... Shanks seem upset? Well, he smiled at me. 
That's never a good sign. Okay, seems like it's working. Who's the guy from DC? So who's the big gun from DC? I think his name is Skinner. Assistant Director Skinner. All right, I guess we're done there. So who's the big gun from DC? Yeah, we can just ask him the same questions. I oh. just told you. Oh, okay. Yeah, different response. I think his name is Skinner. Well, no, same response. Director Skinner. But they inserted a clip in there of him being annoyed that he has to answer us again. The credits are still going. The Experimenter. Also the Experimenter. Two different Experimenters. Got an icon for grabbing electricity. There's no electricity in here. Only, only Mark Snow, who's making the music. Mm, Armistead. Oh, here's Shanks. Come back later, please. Armistead Shanks does not want to talk to us. Come back later, please. He's very busy. Nothing in here but Melanie, Melanie McClare. I think this is the room we were in before. Yeah, we were in here. Supplies, blank forms. It's just pure excitement here at the FBI. Emergency evacuation map. It's a good thing. Okay, so we there are two agent offices. One is our partner's. I assume the other's is our own. And the director. So the director has command over two agents. I don't know. You'd think that you would want to have more agents to be under a director. Okay, I guess this must be our our office. Grab the electricity. Nick Greg Roach, there he is. <laughs> Woo! Wilmore. Agent Wilmore, I want to see you in my office. Uh, sir, I thought you just said you didn't want me to... I need to come back later. Yeah. Welcome to Investigative Services. These services are provided solely to assist with investigations governed by this agency. The menu to the left shows which services are available. All activity on this system will be monitored. Any inappropriate use of these services will cause future access to be denied Agent Wilmore. Okay, we can search for name or phone or vehicle license number. Citizen FBI, government military, law enforcement, criminal. Photo viewer. Email from Mark Cook, subject pull tabs from... Okay, let's read that. Craig, it looks like we finally got a break on the pull tab counterfeiters. We should talk later, but Shanks expects us to have the case wrapped up in a few days. Just thought you'd like a heads up. Counterfeiting pull tabs? Who would do something so dastardly? Wilmore, hey man, how's it hanging? Great to see you last week. It had been way too long. Glad you enjoyed the game, but I'm sorry you were too much of a wuss to play. And just for the record, it's one tooth and two concussions, not the other way around. And my pearly whites look better than ever, which is more than I can say for you. Guess it's lucky you're not a smoker, huh? Ha! Check you later, Jim. Give blood, play rugby. My teeth are doing fine, and my brain damage feels fantastic. Oops. Case files from Mark Robinson. Craig, what does the FBI do with its case files once the cases have been resolved? I'd love to get hold of one or two. I've got an idea for a book, but it would involve some FBI case files, and I'd like to build it from real life. Let me know if you think you can help out, but no hard feelings if you can't get me anything. Super M. 
the All Points Bulletin. Bolo, be on the lookout, Bolo. Nothing to see there. Okay, so I guess we don't really have anything except this email at the moment. Well, here's one of these case files that my author friend wants. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Mm-hmm. Nothing marked here. Well, it says something on the side. Oh. I can't really read. Oh, can't really read any of it. I can read this: syringes, rubber tubing, stainless cooker, items covered with sticky substance, heroin ring. I think it says. Ah, memories of family. Got some emotional music playing to remember them by. Look, if you want to know, if you need to remember just like the Northwestern states and only them, they got you covered. You're right here on the wall. So the director wants to see us. Can we just leave? All right, I guess this is the map. Field office, crime lab, apartment. Uh, it was a, a hard day's work. Time to... I can't believe I'm having to do this. After five years at the Bureau, you should know better. I need your badge and gun. We got caught leaving early. <laughs> Just like that. Man... Empl the boss just never appreciates you. We spent so many years proving ourselves. We just wanted to take off a little bit early. Is that a crime? So I, so you can. I guess the game can just end real fast. You picked a great day to be late. Some big gun in from DC. I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. All right, let's try the middle option. Let's be indifferent about this. I doubt it has anything to do with us. You seem skeptical. All right, let's head into our office. Starring David Duchovny. I, you know, I don't know if I would say starring. We're, we're not playing as Mulder and Scully here. I don't even know how much of a role they have in, the, in this game. Wilmore. Agent Wilmore, I want to see you in my office. All right, let's go talk to the boss. Oh, what was this one? And oh, that's just the FBI seal. <clears throat> Come in. This is Assistant Director Skinner. Agent Walmore. Sir. Two of my agents are missing, Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. I haven't heard from them in three days. I'm extremely concerned. I guess then you're coming to me because I'm the best at finding missing agents, I guess? Are they romantically involved? I need to know for my fanfic. Are they romantically involved? I don't know. I don't think so. Have they been romantically involved in the past? Have they been romantically involved in the past? As I say, I don't know. I don't believe so. Uh, 
I think that we should continue to press on this subject, but doesn't look like we're given another we're, we're given another option for that. The other cell phone numbers, have you tried calling them? You probably haven't thought about calling them, have you? It's a common error, common mistake. Slips your mind, probably. Can I get their cell phone numbers? Uh, you'll find it in the dossier, however, they're not answering. What case were they working on? What case were they working on? I'm not quite sure. All I have is this travel requisition which shows that they were going to Everett, Washington. These two agents were able to function with a high degree of autonomy due to the nature of the cases they pursued. That's a lot of autonomy. Their boss doesn't even know what case they're working on. Agents will fly to first available coach class to destination. Arrive at Seattle. Reservations for seven nights. Rooms 103-104 on hold. Travel approved by Skinner. Even though Skinner doesn't really know what, what case they're working on. Um, where were they last seen? Where were they last seen? In my office in D.C. Right before they left. Well, I mean, that's where you last saw them. I meant just people in general. Have they seen them anywhere? Like, did anyone see them at the airport? Have they behaved like this before? Have they disappeared before? No, not like this. Not like this? So they have disappeared before, just in a slightly different way? Should Cook be involved in this investigation? I really don't like that guy. Should Cook be involved in this investigation? Well, it's up to you, really. You know the Bureau's policy on backup? I would suggest you use all available resources. I was only planning on using some available resources. Is there anything unusual happening in Everett? Do you know of anything unusual in Everett? There's nothing that I'm aware of. Yeah, nothing's happening in, the, in that town. What, what should I do with my current assignments? Which, I think I'm investigating a heroin ring from that file on my desk. What should I do with my current cases? Hand them off to Cook. I know he's busy, but this is priority. File an APB on Mulder and Scully. Then give your current case files to Cook. A.D. Skinner will join you shortly. Boss, why is your office so dimly lit? Like it's just I could I could fall asleep in here, honestly. There are a lot of credits. Like the credits are still going. How are the credits still going? I mean, I guess we did get a game over, so like the credits started over again at that point. Boss, how do I get back to my office? Boss, I seem to be having trouble finding my, my way back to my office. Boss? <laughs> I can... I am a... Oh, here we... You have, boss, you have two doors going out of your office. Where does that second one lead to? It doesn't... It seem, I guess it's a closet. So, cl boss, did I, but did I just walk into the closet in front of the assistant director? What's happening? You can't... I think I think I walked into the boss's closet in front of the high FBI guy. Uh, I'm going to be casual about it. You know, the usual missing FBI agents. Who? Pair out of DC, Mulder and Scully, male and female. All right. He said to put out an APB, so I guess we can do that on the computer. You've got mail. Ooh. That is a sultry you've got mail voice. I don't think I noticed that the first time. Uh, we'll just, we already read these, so let's go through them. Uh, 
Okay. APB, missing, Mulder, Fox, William, DOB, 10, 13, 61, race, Caucasian, eyes, hazel, hair, brown, height, 6 weight, 168, sex, male, clean shaven, no distinguishing marks. Send that out. Well, I only sent the one out. Is there not one for Scully? Because I only saw Mulder there. I mean, yeah, why don't I just search for for them here? Maybe we'll find them. Here he is. Let's look up our boss. It's a good picture. He likes building furniture. He likes golf and jogging. Can't get enough of that jogging. Let's look ourselves up. There we are. Recidivism and its impact on prison reform in post-revolutionary 18th century France. We're divorced. We have one daughter, Elizabeth, five. Parents are residing in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Our father retired as a U.S. Navy subfleet commander in 1985. Mother Natalie is homemaker, hobby swimming, collecting Civil War artifacts and antique maps, battlefield strategy. There's a lot of information on us, more so than a bunch of others. <clears throat> no data on that. And this would be the other agent here of the, the two agents. He likes restoring antique radios. Brewing beer at home. Marathon running. All right. Well, I guess that's what we need to do. Then I guess we should pick up our file. Oh, I can look down here. Oh, sure. We'll, we'll take. Sure. Let's take that stuff. This one would be our file. No, this is something else, isn't it? Yeah, we, have, we didn't see this. It's a letter. Dear Craig, how are things? I trust you're doing well. Everyone here is fine. Mom and Dad say hello. I hope you're not working too hard, but I know you are. You really should try to take it easy, but I know relaxation is not possible. Not with you. I'm sorry. I know I should just leave it alone. I suppose it's not really my problem anymore. I do still worry, though. I really do. I know you don't understand. Elizabeth really misses you. The holidays are going to seem strange this year, I suppose, and birthdays. No matter how hard you worked, you were always there for birthdays and holidays. You're a good father, Craig. And what the hell, I miss you too. I probably shouldn't say that, but it's true. Please don't read anything into it. I know this is for the best. Someday you'll know it too. I know you and I know you're hanging on. Please promise me you'll try to let it go. For my sake and Elizabeth's sake, if not for your own. I suppose I should go for now. We all think about you, and Elizabeth sends her love. Try to write sometime and let us know how you're doing. Goodbye for now, Barbara. We never responded. All right, here's the file. Okay, you can just go to the screen and save at any time, I think. That's sentient. That's Tomba. Yeah, sentient took up six blocks.
something I should mention is that the PC version of the game looks like it might be six or seven discs, and this the PlayStation version is one disc. So I I would think that the PC version probably the video quality is probably a lot better in that in that version. I would expect. Hey partner, how's it going? Well, I'm going to unload my work on you. How do I do that? There we go. Case files. This is yours now. I don't want that. <laughs> you got to take it, my friend. I don't think you have a choice here. What cases are you working on? What case is you working on? Um, pull tab counterfeiters and... Uh, the right, right, the pull tab counterfeiters. Cascades. I'm going to assist the DEA on a meth lab ring, but I'm um, handling things okay. I got a letter from Barbara. Do you want to read it? I got a letter from Barbara. Anything good? Not really. Too bad. I'm sorry. You should try to let that go. I don't know. The letter was cordial. And apparently there's no issue with us seeing our daughter. So, sounds like it's okay. Shanks told me to give my cases to you. Yep, that's right. I'm offloading my work onto you. Shanks wants me to hand my cases off to you. <laughs> well, I mean, it, let's see. How did I get to that? Okay, there. Here they are. Great. Thanks, golden boy. Look, I have a very important case to do. Uh, so you can do the not-so-important cases, is, I guess, what's happening here. All right, so now that I've done that... I suggest we start with the motel where Mulder and Scully are staying. I'll be waiting for you in the car. I look forward to our car ride where I can press you more on whether or not they were romantically linked. Because I'm pretty sure there's more material there that we need to discuss, Skinner. Alright, so let's go to Everett to the Comedy Inn. Can I help you? Oh, yeah. That was kind of just I had this extreme close up and then we're, we're pulled away. Let me have a look around. Sophie the gorilla at the Fairfield Zoo. Oh, but uh, hold on. Let's see what we can read about this. It's fun for the whole family. There's a world of wild and woolly excitement awaiting the whole family at the Fairfield Zoo. I don't know if this will have anything to do with anything. Meet Big Bob, the largest bison in Idaho. Skinner, we can go meet Big Bob. Surely that'd be okay. You sure I can't help you, gentlemen? Uh, I'm just staring at the moment, if that's okay. All right, I guess we should talk. We're looking for information on two FBI agents who might have checked in here. We're looking for information on two FBI agents who checked in here. That's what I said. Can you show me some identification? All right, let me... Can I... Let's see, can I show an identification? That's a good, good question, miss. Can I do that? This is identification. I did it. Oh, I, I picked the PDA? No, I don't, I don't need to 
do that. All right. So I showed the identification. We're looking for information on two FBI agents who checked in here. Mm-hmm. And their names would be? Agents Mulder and Scully. Oh, yeah. They paid for a week in advance, room three and four. You get many FBI agents here? Did in your... did From what you saw of them, do you think they were boning? Did you notice anything unusual about the two agents? Um... The guy was kind of spooky. Other than that, no. He is kind of spooky, yes. Did anything unusual happen while they were here? Did anything unusual occur while they were here? Not that I can remember. How good is your memory? Do you have the make and license number of the rental car in your records? They probably wouldn't, though, would they? Do you have the make and license number of the rental car? Sure, it's on the form. Assuming oh. they told the truth. Now they have it. Ford Taurus, 621517. We'd like to see their rooms. I need to search them myself for evidence of, you know, romance. Would you take us to their rooms, please? Sure, come this way. Here we go. This is his room. She stays next door. Thank you. I hope there aren't any dead bodies in here. I got finals coming up next week. You can get in and out through here. Did they ask you to unlock those doors? Did they look unlocked? No, they didn't. Thank you. We'll uh, let you know if we need anything else. You know where to find me. Why don't you start with Mulder's room? I'll take Scully's. I do like the progression of that sentence. I hope there are no dead bodies in here. I've got finals next week. Those dead bodies are going to interfere with their studying. The magic bullet. It's no secret that several secret Air Force bases in the northwest of Harvard alien craft and ALFs. That's right. ALFs are a menace to our planet's cats. We have to stop the ALFs. Microwave transmissions. Crash deep inside. That's what I'm talking about. Experimental flights. So much text. We are not alone. We've got to recognize the enemy. A whole rogues gallery of hostile reptilian forms. Exists right now, but in New Mexico. I mean, there's a lot to read there, but we don't we only we don't have that much time, really. Whoop, that's not what I wanted. Handcuffs? No, I probably don't need handcuffs. Ooh, Federal Bureau of Investigation. What might this be? Majestic cover-up warehouse at Dock Railroad Connect. Well, we did see Mulder and Scully at a, at a warehouse at the beginning of the game, and they were attacked by men with guns, and then there was a loud... There was a, a, a very bright flash and sounds of screaming, and we're not sure what that was about. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. I can't decide if that's good or bad. I guess there's no time to watch the Keystone Cops. We have a mission. This is a Bible with very large text. The font is huge. Well, 
I, we could read this whole thing. But why was it left on this particular page? Acts 26, 7. Oh, wait, there's a laptop there. Can we look at it? We can. Oh, I'm just taking it with me. All right. It would be very helpful to know what case they were working on, which you, as their boss, should know. It would be helpful to know what case they were working on. Yes. Yes, it would be helpful. Listen, I'd appreciate it if you didn't... Uh refer to them in the past tense. So. Well, I mean, they're not, as far as we know, they're not working on the case now. That doesn't mean they're dead. They're just goofing off, you know? Boning down somewhere, probably. How long have you known them? How long have you known them? Four years now. I've known Mulder longer than that. I guess it's been uh, almost six All right, we can go outside. We can go back to Seattle. Do, do we want to go back to Seattle? I mean, we didn't really discover anything. What are you majoring in? What's your major? I'm working on a law degree. Well, that's that's fascinating, but can you remember anything that might help us? Look, we're the FBI and we have, we're out of ideas. Can you remember anything that might help us? No, I'm sorry. They checked in and left that evening. I didn't see them after that. Hmm... Okay, nothing else that we can talk about then. Gumball machine, but we can't interact with it, it seems. Hmm, well, can I not go back into the apartment then? Oh, no, there we go. All right, so let's have another look around and see if we can find anything else from Outer Space by Jose Chung. Mm-hmm. Let's read that little passage right there. And so, at each death, the soul descends further into the inner earth, attaining ever greater levels of purification, reaching enlightenment at the core, assuming, of, of course, your soul is able to avoid the lava men. Of course. You have to avoid the lava men. That's how you know Jose Chung is the real deal. He doesn't try to feed you fantasy stories that ignore the existence of the lava men. Mm, world famous sweet potato pie. Pie's so good you'll swear they're from another planet, but they're not. Honestly, they're made on Earth. Don't please stop spreading rumors about how we're lizard men. It's please, we're just we just we're running a business here. We it's just a slogan. We, we make pies. Let's see, we did. Oh, did, we took that book with us? We, get, we got this laptop. Too many login attempts. Okay, it's, it's Scully's laptop. 
We have this folder. We haven't looked in this yet. And we saw this. For tour. Okay, so we have this now. So this is some information that we did not have before coming to the uh, to the motel. There's that Bible. There's nothing else to say. No, so I'm not seeing anything else. So maybe we can go back and uh, maybe try to look up this license plate number. All right, we're going back to Seattle. Field office, crime lab, or home. Well, let's go to the field office and go to our computer. I'll be reviewing my notes in the meeting room. Put that down there. So let's see, we can look up vehicle license number. There we go. Uh, it would just, it would not, it would just be a citizen's car, I guess. Right, 96 Taurus, owner Larry at rental, last rented to Fox Mulder. Mm, nothing of interest, I guess. That's the only one we can look up. Um, all right, so I guess there's not really useful information from learning this. Hmm... I mean, we see what the the owner is, Larry at Rental, but does that actually help us out? And uh, maybe it might. Maybe we could go talk to the rental company. And what happens if we try other databases? No. So it's just the one piece of information. Mm, he's not here. I'm gonna take his scotch tape. Big blue. Drinking on the job. Disgraceful. I mean, it just doesn't... I don't see any actual bottles of alcohol, but they're around here somewhere, probably. I don't believe we're done on the field, Agent Wilmore. No? Think we should go back? Hmm. What's this? Um, what is that? A lock pick, an evidence kit, flashlight, camera, binoculars, night vision. Okay, so it's like our our investigative equipment. It's probably we probably should have taken that to begin with.
Um, let me save. Did it save? Okay. I can, well, it's saved now anyway. Well, I guess the only option we have is to go back there. I wanted to try going back home. I mean, the first time we tried going home, we got fired. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, all right. Time to put her feet up. What do we got in here? We got, like, a portrait of someone that's not even hanging on the wall. Oh, music of memories. It's our family. Oh, what's that? Man, this is the only thing on TV these days. Complaint for divorce. You know, we could read this whole thing, but it's a lot. Kronos Quartet? Mm hmm Let's check out what we got in the kitchen. Not a whole lot of music in this game so far. Like, there were credits for the the music composer, but... I guess Agent Wilmore likes to have a bowl full of Quisp cereal to go with his Milano's. I like how they have the fake brand here next to just, like, a real brand. Insomniacs. Got in the fridge. The fridge of a divorced man. Got some beer. Orange juice. Got like a little lemon juice right there. There's like a little cup of maybe some kind of condiment. Like a mustard maybe. Something wrapped in tin foil. It's all the, uh, the staples. Guess we're not in the mood for anything. I like how there's no, like, overhead light in this apartment. There's just, like, a lot of lamps shining spotlights on things. Like, the, here's your empty bed just shining a spotlight right on it. Okay. Oh, choice of ties. 
to not pick a tie. Choice of shirts. Doesn't look like we can do anything in there. Bathroom. The Ramones. There's us. Let's look down. What have we got? Ah, oh, the toothpaste, I see. Once again, they're real brands. I like how they just made a fake brand for the cereal. I like everything else are real brands. Big Ramones fan, I guess. I guess there's nothing really to do. Why does he have a bicycle in his apartment? Reference Civil War. That's true, he is a Civil War buff, right? I guess there's really nothing for us here. We could also try the crime lab. See if there's anything for us over here. I mean, do we have anything for the crime lab to investigate? Hey, Mr. Wilmore. Good to see you. It's been a while. Hey, John. How have you been? Bored. I hope you have something real exciting for me. I'll do my best. So, what have you got? Don't you owe me a dollar? <laughs> hey, don't you owe me a dollar? <laughs> From what, that basketball game? No way, that crooked partner of yours cheated. Cook? He never cheated a day in his life. Don't hold your breath over that buck. The boys in the crime lab are officially protesting. Uh, so it's a shame we don't actually get to play the basketball game for the dollar. How's your wife? How's your wife? X, you mean? She's good. She's taking the kids to her mom's for Easter. Yours? My wife? No, your ex-kids. Yeah, your wife. Good, I guess. We haven't really spoken in a while. Hey, if we're divorced buddies, high five. <laughs> you working on anything good? Wink. You working on anything good? Nope. It's been very slow. I count on you FBI guys to keep my life interesting. Mm, I don't think I have anything interesting for him. You ever read this book? It's fascinating. I don't want that. I wonder how many clips there are in this game of people saying that. I don't really have anything for him to work on. Hmm, yes, I see. Well, if, remember, if we find something for the crime lab, we know who to bring it to. But according to Skinner, we didn't get everything from here, it sounds like. So let's head back inside. Oh, there you are. Why would they be staying in Everett and not in Seattle? Why would they stay in Everett instead of Seattle? I have no idea. Maybe they were being budget-minded. Did they have any enemies that you know of? They didn't have any enemies, did they? Everyone has enemies, Agent Wilmore. I don't have enemies. But what are you trying to say? Everyone loves me. Everyone loves old Craig Wilmore. Especially my wife. Why didn't they contact our office when they began their investigation? Why didn't they contact our offices before they began their investigation? Actually, that's one of the questions that I'd like answered. 
Well, I guess he still doesn't know anything. Okay, so most of this stuff we looked at. Is there anything around of theirs that we could pick up that we did not pick up? When we looked at this stuff on the bed, it seems like it would be important. You think we would be able to take this? Because we picked up files before. Also, the um, the post it says majestic cover up warehouse at Dock Railroad Connect. That seems like relevant information, but I don't think we are recording that or anything. Like our character is not writing that down or taking this information or anything. I don't think so. So. It seems like we should be able to, like, use that. But do I have, like, an option to take or, uh, take or anything? Take this pen? I cannot take the pen. All right, so what do I do with this? Like, if, if I could pick it up, then maybe I could, like, show it to someone... But if I can't pick it up, and if I can't, like, write it, like, take the post-it or write it down. Skinner, you want to, like, look at this thing in the other room? Oh, there's a phone icon up there. Should we check the outgoing calls? That's a good idea. The clerk will probably have a record. Did we check the outgoing calls? I just told you. But yeah, are, are we going to check the outgoing calls? I, I need to check the outgoing calls. That's not here. Oh, no. Phone up there. Do you keep a record of outgoing calls? Sure, for billing purposes. Could I get a copy, please? Great. Give me a minute. I want you to know you're putting me behind. Sorry. I don't mean to bother you at work. Funny. Interrupting her studying. Gateway to the Great Northwest. Phone services. Calling Washington, D.C., Calling Seattle. Are those the only two? Seems so. There was an eight minute call to Washington and a two minute call to Seattle. I wonder, am I taking that as part of my inventory? No, I don't see it. Well, I don't have the phone option anymore. So I wonder if I have that information now. Okay, I did add it to that. Do you want to see it? I guess I can't show it to him. But, uh, let's see. 
Let me... Let me type these numbers down. 202-202-202-555-0149-206-555-0182. All right, I guess we could try calling ourselves. Ah, uh, of course. And try your call again. What am I thinking? Oh, clear. Hello? Who is this? Agent Wilmore, FBI. Who are you? I asked you first. Look, I work for the FBI. Uh, sure, okay. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Hmm, how strange. Alright, I guess we'll go with the uh, other number, see if we can get a better result. Well, it doesn't seem like anyone's picking up. Doesn't seem like anything's happening there. Um... Let's give a little save right here. Well, we have been playing for an hour, which I think has been a pretty good amount of time to get a, you know, have a, 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 an idea of what this game is like and how it plays. You know, I'm going to say on a, on a technical level, it's a lot more of a competent game than Quantum Gate was. They, uh, you can see that Greg Roach and his team did step up their game uh when they when they were making this it it's, it does seem to be a bigger and better production in all respects you know that, the the tone of it the mood actually does seem like it could be a real x-files episode um so it seems like they did a very good job let's just try one more thing don't do that But it does seem like they did that Greg Roach and company did uh, retain their sense of humor and allow you to get just bad endings like that. Just you can just end the game whenever you want, I suppose, by shooting people. And that's how Craig Wilmore's FBI career ended. So that has been our hour long look at the X Files game for PlayStation. Uh it seems quite interesting. Like it seems like there was a... Uh, you know, it started off... Oh, here's the intro scene again. You know, it started off with just, like, uh, with this 
action pack scene and then we were go- walking around our office and talking with our boss and skinner and now you know then it slowed down a bit as we started doing you know actual detective work and searching the motel and talking to the clerk and looking around for Mulder and scully's things uh finding phone numbers trying to call them and see if that gets us any leads um it seems like a pretty interesting game, so you know I would give this a bully. I think that bull- I'm gonna say it seems pretty good. Um, going by the FMV game standards, uh, you know the the standards of the FMV games we have played. This seems like it's actually a pretty good one. Um, I do like how I do like how fast that happens in this intro just a bunch of people bust in opening fire with guns then a bright light and screaming and what happened i mean who knows but we have to find them we have to find Mulder and scully because they're goofing off and boning somewhere boning down just like in my fanfics and uh we gotta stop them from doing that because that's unprofessional it's not what you do in the fbi no sir no it is not so, uh, we'll, we'll think about coming back to this one. We'll think about it. Um, the government denies knowledge, though, of whether or not any boning is indeed occurring. But I enjoyed my hour with X-Files The Game for PlayStation. If we do come back to it, I wonder if I'll try to get the PC version working to see uh, if that if the interface for that is any better. You'd think it might be with an adventure game like this. You'd think that like a mouse interface would probably be better. So that could be worthwhile checking out. But I enjoyed my time with this for this past hour, and I hope that you enjoyed it too. And hey, maybe we might return to it to solve the mystery of where Mulder and Scully went. And are aliens real? You will not find out in this game. Because you can't, you can't find out. They they always have to keep teasing teasing it about what about the aliens. You cannot know. The truth is out there, but you will not find it. That's been X Files the game. <laughs>